chat GPT prompt for easier creation creation of uh, question banks for Moodle or I study. It can help eliminate quiz generation effort, help eliminate or lessen exam checking effort, lessen or eliminate special exam fee requirement, lessen eliminate reteaching effort, lessen or eliminate cheating, lessen or eliminate stress to student. Why? Because they don't have to study to take the test optional. <laughs> Because it's open notes, no fear of cheating. Because uh, no fear of open notes, open Google, open book, open classmate. Because of the comprehensiveness of the quiz, like you open the book, put everything that is in bold or italicized in the book, and put them in the quiz very easily to generate a question bank. You can also activate unlimited tries in the quiz because there is no effort in rechecking and you are not afraid of cheating because the quiz is comprehensive. And the only cheating is if you they also use copy and paste, they write they select the question, they right click, search in chat, paste it in chat GPT, and chat GPT will answer. But that can be solved. Uh, by also by using safe exam browser option in iStudy and in iStudy or Moodle. The idea is everything that comes to mind. So the student will be forced to read all the questions and it will somehow come to their mind through the senses and will be safe. Only problem is retrieving. <laughs> anyway, since it is unliterized, they can repeat. And the more they repeat, the, the more they will see the correct answer, the more it will be saved in the map. How do you make sure that it is the student who is actually answering? You can put password on the quiz so that you can proctor the quiz yourself and make sure that the student is really the student who is taking or who is logged in is the real student who is actually taking the quiz and if you if you suspect that somebody look, found your password or they looked at the keyboard while you're typing the password on their computer then you can just uh, easily change the password quiz, quiz password <clears throat> use different quiz passwords so that uh, they don't you don't all lose Okay, how to do it? Huh. The most important thing, my friends, is the prompt in ChatGPT. How you, ChatGPT's answer is only as good as your question. So I will not read the prompt because it took me many, many, many tries to find the correct prompt. This is what I want to share with you. So in this prompt, this is this is what you can change for the following yeah you can put your things here depending on what class you are teaching and see if the output is something you like and the important thing for Moodle is this format the question should be like this the option should be like this and the answer should be like this yeah so that it will import without glitch into iStudy so you give this question it will give this answer you copy code and then you run notepad you paste it in notepad see you paste we paste it in notepad you save it for example we save it as i can test zero zero i'm just going to override this and then you ask another question. ChatGPT only gives 10 questions each prompt. So if you have 1,000 things in the book, you can just do this once and for all. Huh. So the next thing that you have, since it only, it, it only likes to answer 10 things every time, you cannot put 1,000 items in one prompt. You can just put next R. And then the next 
uh, ideas, items, or concepts, and uh, and uh, ChatGPT will create another set. So I I divide all the things into ten, and then I copy, and then I go to the end and paste it here. So now I have uh, two sets of questions. Yeah. Now. You can go on and go on until you find 1,000, 2,000 things and paste them here. The next thing to test is to import it or you can separate it by chapters. Okay. So what we're going to take, we saved it as I can test 00.txt. Now let's go here in my class and let's make an activity. Okay, I just created a quiz let me see this is a quiz and there are no questions in the quiz let's go import in the question bank we can first let's create a category because most of the time we want each chapter to have a different quiz so that it will not have a quiz that has 1000 items it will be uh, separate into segments the whole book so i just made a test one uh, category like you make a chapter one category chapter two chapter three chapter four depending on the book you are trying to copy so we already have a category here now let's go to import and we will set specify icon format choose the file choose file Let's double click our icon test. Let's upload the file. This is very fast. No problem. You can replay. And you will see if you have errors. Parsing, no problem. Importing, no problem. Continue. Now you have questions generated by ChatGPT and imported into Moodle. Now let's go back to the test. And we are going now to add questions from our question bank. And you just click this one and add questions. And you now have automatically six questions. So if you added the whole chapter's uh, important terms in, the, uh, in this file, you ask ChatGPT, then you would have a one chapter quiz where the students are forced to look and read at all the uh, things that they have to learn. Okay, I'm going to paste the question in the description of this video. This one is the important thing i think i hope chat gpt character doesn't change anyway the next thing is just next r next r and then you put your terms i hope it will help you in your teaching have a nice day po sirs and mom